Okay. Quick. Precise to the point. These videos are going to be short and sweet. Thank you for being my, uh, my subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click like, click subscribe, and join the family. As of now, I'm up to 827 subscribers at this point. And I hope that it'll eventually get over that 1,000 mark, and that'll put me in a different uh, direction. Now, what I'm going to do is show you how to make icicles from rod like this to turn to rod like this without using pliers and fairly quickly by the way I'm only I'm gonna go ahead and do one nice long one it's gonna be very similar to that length or maybe even a little longer than this length and from this you can get one or two icicles out of it okay so here goes nothing or something or everything in between. Now, you can warm it in a little bit. Never hurts to keep the stress going out of a, a rod that you're, you're playing with. Then uh, I'm going to take this is probably nine nine mil that I've got on this rod and about ten something on this rod or eleven anyway. Now what I'm going to do is this side I call the paper and this side I call the pencil. And I'm, adding, I'm going to add to the paper with the pencil. What I'm going to actually do, I've already warmed up this rod basically. And you're going to try to keep most of your flame off of that rod. And you're going to heat up the pencil. As you can see, it's nice and glowing just on the, the glass rod that I'm using. And add it to the paper. Or add it to the other rod. Okay. And as you get down to the end, you'll pull it off and you'll... Heat up that nub so it doesn't cause too much stress. And then I'm going to do this several, several times, okay? One right after the other in succession. This isn't like encasing. I'm going to leave a little bit of a space between each, or gap between each one of these lines. And these lines are basically ridges or ribs that you want to put on a, a, a piece or whatever. That works out well too. Now, again, I'm almost, I'm about, I got to do two more lines here. Okay. And if you wanted to use different color glass, like blue or red or green or whatever color you want to use on this clear rod, that would work out too. And it, every one of these lines that I just put on here are going to be, making that a tight, tight looking swirl pattern going on. And here we go. Now that I've made the rod the, rod the way I want it, um, I will now heat, pull, and lightly twist as I go to make this icicle. And there it goes. You can see it happening as we speak. Simple, effective, and sweet. I'm loving it. And again, you can make out of this one long rod or one this rod, you can make several icicles out of it. And I know I'm not doing even pull here like I should because I'm talking, thinking, and doing three things at once. But if you heat up, and I'll show you right here. I'll do this nice and even. You heat up a nice little section like this. And then heat, pull, and twist as you go. And it should make it nice and even. There we go. Practice, practice, and more practice. But that's the thing about icicles. It doesn't have to be even. It just has to look pretty. And that looks pretty. And you can keep twisting right up until the end of the, the little nibs that you pulled off. And there you go. And you've got like, on this one, you've got one, two, three, four. Matter of fact, I will make one of these into an icicle right here as we speak. I'll, I'm going to go ahead and do it to the end because, second thought, no. I'm going to pull this off. 
right about there. Okay. That might be a little short one, but it will do the trick. Now for the bail, all you got to do is just heat. And when I do the loops, I'll also do this another quick one, one more, and I'll use my buttonhole punch that I that I made. I make sure like a, a a question mark there, and I heat up in the middle of the question mark, then bend it over, and let it connect to the bottom of the rod, like so, and then I take a nice little graphite rod or reamer and make sure it's a nice round loop and there's one now next one this is still probably hot so I'm going to go ahead and make a cold weld connection there and I'm also going to you can see that it's thick and thin matter of fact that's what I'm going to do Executive decision, it doesn't matter which is the top and which is the bottom. So where I have the cold weld right now is going to be the top of this piece because I like the way it looks at that end. Okay? Okay, okay, okay. I'm actually going to use this one since it's cold and there and usable. Now this one, I'm going to actually heat and stretch it just a little bit in that big, thicker area. Just pull it lightly and gently twist a little bit more. There we go. Do that again a little bit. Right about here. Practice, practice, and more practice. Okay. Now, this one I'm going to use the buttonhole punch to make the uh, bail loop. Okay. If you have one available, these aren't too bad either. I know, simple, effective, quick, precise. If you have questions, comments, or if you'd like to see something made in particular, give me a shout out. Um, I'm also on Facebook and uh, Instagram and a half a dozen others. No, not a half a dozen others. Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And it also, I also have my email account on this this that's connected with this now what I did was I heated it up I pressed it in and now I'm sort of turning it back and forth and you heard it crunch I don't know if you heard it crunch or not but that makes you that helps you to understand that oh of course that's what you get when you get a smaller cold weld heat And ream it out a little bit. Oh, now you can see why having the other loop air type deal works. Let me see if I can hold on to that with the uh, the grippers. I don't know if it's got. Can it go that? Yeah, it can go that low. Let's try it so that I can really play with this thing. Collapse, collapse, collapse. Right down the center. Oh, right here we go. <laughs> Things I'm learning that I can use for this thing. These grippers. And there we go. There is a hole in there, but now I'm going to ream it out a little bit more with the uh, buttonhole punch. Heat it up a little bit more. And there you go. Icicle number two, same idea, and here's icicle number one, nice and cool by now. Gives you an idea what you can do in a short amount of processing, and get a couple of dozen of those done, and people will love you for it. Again, thanks for watching. Carpe Vito. Enjoy your day.